Hi dear 8th graders, how are you? Very nice to see you guys again here. Let's talk about our last class, this is our first class about quadratics. As I told you guys, it's my favorite subject on math, on Algebra 1, for real. Because I really love quadratics, I learned a lot, and I'm very excited to teach you this thing, okay? And we have this extra video to help you and make sure you are understanding the patterns, okay? Okay, guys, let's go. I hope you like this class, guys. As I told you, as we learned before, in linear equations, we have the standard form. What is it, Mr. Romeo? The standard form, it is a normal form for any quadratic equation. It is y equals ax squared, as you notice here, as you can see, okay? ax squared, more, what more, Miss? Plus bx plus c. A here in yellow, as you can see, it is a quadratic coefficient. It is the coefficient next to the quadratic variable. And here, bx is the linear coefficient. It is the coefficient next to the variable. And c is the constant. Remember these names, guys? We talked already before about these names. Great. Graph. When graph at a quadratic equation creates a U-shaped curve called parabola. Parabola, guys, is part of our life right now. Great. The parabola we see a lot of times, okay? This is the name for the graph parabola, the U-shaped. And remember, guys, we have two special types of parabolas. The first one. It is A is positive. This yellow number here will be a positive, okay? Plus one, two, three, four, whatever. Great. And what does it mean, mister? It means a lot for us right now. Because our parabola opens up like a smile. Okay? It opens up. Remember the smile? You will remember how to do it. Because it opens up, okay? Like a smile. That's like as you can see here. And when the a is negative, the quadratic coefficient is neg negative, guys. Attention here. What's going on? Oh, mister, this is a negative. Then the parabola opens down like a frown, like that, okay? Remember, when you are said like that, opens down. <laughs> nice, guys. When it's negative, remember, the parabola opens down. Great. When it's positive, opens up. Very easy to remember this stuff. Let's go ahead. And this is very important, okay, guys, to draw our sketch. We need to figure out and remember this stuff. Here. X of symmetry. The vertical line that divides the parabola into two equal parts, we call this X of symmetry. Like we have a mirror exactly in this line. It means this half of the equation is the same as this half. Great, exactly. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Great. And we have a formula to figure out this number. It is x equals negative b divided by two a's. The vertex. What is the vertex, mister? The vertex is the turning point of the parabola. What is it, mister? Turning point is when the vertex is the lowest point. We call this minimum. Okay, when the, the parabola goes down, 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 up, turns up, is the vertex, so it's the point, the change, the turning point, okay? And the opposite is the same thing, up, 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 here, up, okay, start down, is the turning point here. But here, when it opens down, we have a maximum point. When it opens up, we have a minimum point, okay? That's the, the names for this stuff. Great. And to find, we did some examples in the classroom. I hope you remember, but I will solve a new one over here. Let's go. Guys, number four. Number four. The first step. Guys, I taught you the steps, okay? Step number one. Step number one. Figure out and, uh, and look for label for the A, a B, and C. Here is my A. Where is my B, mister? Here is my B. Where is my C, mister? And here the last one is my C. Great. 
you can write this information in your journal here. A equals 4, B equals 8, and C is negative 1. Great. Pay attention, guys, because my RA is positive, okay? Attention for this information in future. Right now, I need to find the X of symmetry. Great. I remember the formula. The formula is X equals negative B over two A's, okay? And here, attention about that. Let's solve. Great. How do we solve this stuff here? The first thing to solve here, this stuff, we need to figure out X equals negative 8 over 2 A's, 2 times 4. Nice. We solve here, negative 8 times 2, 4, here we, negative 8 over 8, negative 8 over 8, the solution is negative 1. Okay, our X of symmetry, it's negative 1. It means here, if I sketch this stuff, X equals negative 1. Remember here, our coordinate plane, yes, X equals negative 1. Nice. Right now, what I need anymore here, look, I need my vertex. To figure out my vertex, I use this number, negative 1, for our x. y equals 4, x squared, plus 8x minus 1. Let's figure out here, negative 1 here, negative 1 here. It is 4, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, 4 times 1 is 4. Plus minus 8 minus 1. 4 minus 8, negative 4. Negative 4, negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. And here's my vertex, guys. Negative 1, negative 5. What does it mean, mister? My sketch. It's like here, guys. Where is negative 1 for x? Negative 5. Oops, not here. Negative 5 for our other number. Here is negative 1 and negative 5. Remember to sketch this thing like that. Great, guys. It's very easy. Remember to work on this stuff later. We have more problems here. I hope you work on this by yourself. If you have any questions, please let me know. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.